Judah's foster family says his death should have never happened. They say DCS failed him. They just simply didn't do their job. They didn't do what they were supposed to. They didn't follow up. Had they followed up, they would have seen the red flags. As candles burned, tributes were paid to four-year-old Judah Morgan. Loved ones held justice for Judah signs as community members stood together in support. It was sweet. It was loving, caring, very caring. Judah was placed with his cousin Jenna Hollett at four months old following abuse allegations within his home. Judah was born with a large amount of THC in his system from my understanding. And like I said, I wanted him with family. What? Damn. I believe that it means that the mother was abusing drugs <clears throat> while he was inside. THC specifically, weed, no? Is it, yeah, specifically weed. Yeah. A lot, but, but actually, I'm not but, unaware but, of this. But maybe you could fill me in. Large amount. Right. I'm unaware of this. You can fill me in. If you are pregnant, what are the effects of weed on a child inside the womb? Is it like bad? Well, it's growth. It can stun, even even a, in a teenager, it's not good because it can stun your growth. It can modify your, your brain and stuff like that. Okay. So that's not good. That's why it's child, not given to kids. Yeah, that's why it's not good, right? And and that's why it's very comfortable in some instances to give it to, t to, to kids. But also... Uh, it can help kids with seizure and stuff like that. So sometimes it depends on what the medication. That's in a medical sense. In a medical sense, exactly. But in every other so, sense, yeah. It, yeah, but if you have a large amount of and the, the like yeah. the kid has nothing, it can affect it. You know okay. what I mean? So, right. yeah. Judah was with her for four years, but was reunited with his birth parents, Mary Yoder and Alan Morgan, in April. They're both charged in his death after Judah was found with blunt force trauma Sunday. What made this? Blunt force trauma. That means they smashed him until he passed. That's what that means. Either they threw him or smashed him, but that's what that means. Please don't give him back to his parents. Long story short, they dropped the ball. I mean, they told me on super, two separate occasions, the Lowport County um, regional manager had told me that they were to file uh, sep um, termination of parental rights on two different occasions, and for some unknown reason they failed to do so and all he could do was apologize and he said they just had to start the case over. According to the police report, Judah's mother called 911 stating Judah's father lost his temper and hurt him. Investigators found Judah inside a bedroom naked, covered in a blanket with bruises all over his body and on his face and head. His mother told investigators Judah was sent to the basement around three times a week for punishment for not being potty trained like his other three siblings in the house. The lights were purposely shut off as a, quote, scare tactic and food was withheld from him. He was potty trained when he was two. The report also shows Judah's mother said Judah was forced to stay in the basement naked with only a fuzzy blanket for days before being allowed back upstairs and that his father would duct tape his hands and feet and physically abuse him. Hullet describes Judah's parents as monsters for what they did. That's the hardest part. It's hard for him to be gone, but the details are eating at me. The police report states Judah's mother would tell his father things like that's enough, but didn't stop the abuse. Conditions inside were described as having a strong pungent odor of urine and rotting food with clothing, garbage and animal fecal matter all over the house. The refrigerator had a cord attached preventing anyone from opening it, according to the documents. I this is an addict's home. Yes. This is an addict's home. Yes. A hundred percent. You have people with all kinds of traumas using all kinds of substances with kids who are already like negatively impacted by their this is a recipe for disaster so what happened is that your the services released the child into the family without looking at the, at no, the house so originally the kid was with the family very young but yeah they found signs of yeah so they took bad them, behavior so they took him away put him I with somebody else that. and then they returned the child i understood that yep. right when they returned the child they didn't check you got to check. No, you don't, apparently. No, you don't, apparently. So, um... I like, I like the mother just being like, the father was the one who did it. I, I like, I ain't got, I ain't got much, I ain't got much to say about this. To be honest with you, there's nothing much to say about this. Uh, give him the chair and stop the chair when they're about to die and repeat until they, they, they finish suffering and they die from that. That would be my take. And I know it's pretty harsh to do and, and human, but I don't really care. That's what they deserve.
they deserve to suffer as much as that kid suffered. That's what that's my take. Personally, I don't think the chair. I mean, that, that's the whole argument. What's that's better, a, the chair, or you know, living the long lives in prison with all that's that? A, that's a, that's that that is that is that is an image for suff- suffering a long ass time. I just want the motherfuckers to suffer. That's me. Yeah. Don't really, I don't really have sympathy for that. You can't have the child. You, they be giving back to you, and then that happened. Yeah, you're an addict. Hollett says she warned DCS multiple times that he was in harm's way, but nothing was done. She repeatedly told me, you know, they're not listening. I keep going to them. I'm telling them what's happening. They're not listening. I don't know what to do. The family says the system horrifically mishandled their case. You need to stop this from happening ever again. Um, it should have never happened with Judah. Um, he was safe and, and loved and taken care of with us. The family is hoping to establish a new law in Judah's name. In the meantime, they encourage the community to email local legislators and senators with their concerns about the foster care system. Like I said, I think it's a systemic issue. Yeah. That's my suspicion. Yeah. Because here's the thing. There's, 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 there's always differences. There's sometimes there's shit bags who work at a certain place and do things incorrectly. And then other times there's just laws in place or bylaws in place where they can't do anything. Their hands are tied. And if they were, they would be acting illegally and then they would be jailed for intervening. So it's just, it's a tough situation. Uh, but it's like that systems like that are in place. And a lot of people aren't aware that like the foster care system is, can be terrible. Like the places that you get put into can be terrible, but sometimes your original living situation is even worse. So there's no easy, easy solutions to this. It does. It's a weird thing to say. It does warm my heart to see that this woman cared so deeply that she's going this far and she's trying to change laws to do everything to honor that boy. And I think if everyone is born into a family with half as much interest and care for the child as this woman had, I think a lot of us would be in, end up in much better places. It's not so, weird. It's not weird. It's, I understand that it warms you. Using the term, the term, it warms your heart in a situation like this might be weird. <clears throat> but no, it's good. It's really good that there's someone out there that cares with that fucking system. Yeah. So no, it's not. It's absolutely not weird mm. to say it warms your heart yeah. that that lady cares that much, mm. right? It's just the whole construct of of this. It warms my heart. This little boy dies, and she. No, it's, I understand, but yeah. no, it's normal that, yeah, I, I, I totally understand what you're saying, yeah. and you're right. So, that's it for today's video, but uh, is there anything else you want to say? Say tough, man. Yeah. Say tough, man. Mm. Bring back so many memories, man. Say tough, Mexico. Ugh. Like, unfortunately, it's going to happen again, and... It takes time. Whenever we talk about law stuff and stuff like that and things that need to change in a system, it takes so much time and so many people have to be aware and this and that, whatever. So Godspeed to that lady and, and courage because it's going to take a whole lot. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below.